Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Gossip About Gossip the podcast where we talk about real-world applications of distributed ledger technology. My name is Zenobia Godschalk, and I'm the SVP of Communications here at Swirls Labs, helping to grow the Hedera ecosystem. Today, I am joined by Mark Diego, who um, oversees product and marketing at Cosmium. Hi, Mark. How are you? Hello, Zenobia. Uh, I feel marvelous. Thank you for having me. Good, good. So we are going to talk about Cosmium's game. I see that you are very well situated in your gaming chair. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I think f- we, have a, we have a broad audience here in the Hedera ecosystem. So we have some folks who are hardcore gamers who know exactly all of the ins and outs of gaming terminology. And then we have many other constituents as well. Um, can we jump in a little bit and talk about, you know, you, um, you, this is called a triple A game. Um, what is a triple A game? And then maybe we can talk a little bit about what is Cosmium. Of course, uh, for those who don't, who doesn't know what is a triple game, a triple A game is a game that is produced, but with high budget and normally it's distributed by large publishers as well. So, uh, to sum up is it's a game with high budget, with uh, a lot of developers and a lot of uh, marketing budget. Okay, so AAA all stars essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay, big production games. So yeah, tell us tell us a little bit more specifically about Cosmium. What is what is the game? What is the world? Okay, yeah. Uh, so Cosmium uh, focus, focuses on the metaverse that combine combine different genres, not only MOBA. Uh, so the game it's a combination of MOBA, RPG, and RTS. But our game it's a community driven game, so we'll listen to the community. So for example, we'll do a PvE game mode for those who doesn't like to PvP a lot, where they can progress. And also we are developing a temporary game mode where it's it's a battle royale. Okay, and so PvP is player versus player. Mm-hmm, exactly. And you said RPG? Yeah, RPG, role playing game. And I said also as well PvE, which is player versus environment. Okay, got it. So whatever you want to do, whether you want to play with friends, whether you mm-hmm. want to play by yourself, play against the yeah. system, you can do you can choose any of those modes. Exactly. And why did you decide that, uh, you know, you needed DLT or blockchain functionality as part of this game? Well, uh, first of all, mm, the games uh, like this needs a lot of transaction. Players need to do trades, like uh, sell in-game items. Uh, for example, we, we already have in Web2 games like CSGO, where players are trading their, their skins, right? And... And we needed a DLT for that. So we need to do, to register those transactions in our back end, in, ga- in our game back end. And then to make it secure and fast, we'll use the DLT. So we, we don't have fraud or, or cheating in, in the trading system. Okay. So players can have a greater trust in the game, um, greater transparency in terms of knowing that what they've you know, what they've done has been recorded is really true. Yeah, exactly. And also I want to say a fun fact. Uh, in CSGO, uh, they estimated that all in-game items in CSGO, it's over $2 billion. What is CSGO? Uh, Counter-Strike. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot okay. of acronyms in this episode, mm-hmm. but we're going to yes. get through them all. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Uh, because I'm just used to <laughs> to say the acronyms. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of real world dollars at stake. There's a lot of real world value at stake in these games, right? And if you are a player, I think you. It sounds like you want to know, um, you know, the the veracity of those transactions. You want to be able to prove 
um, that you've earned things um, and that the system is recording them accurately. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because as well in CSGO, players are trading their in-game assets, but legally they can do it. That, that's illegal, actually. That's like the black market in CSGO. But with the Web3 features, you're enabling the players to, to do that legally. So they really own the assets. In, in Counter-Strike, they don't really own the assets. That's a problem in Web2 games. Yeah, there's um, and you certainly want to keep track of that ownership and be able to demonstrate it and, and show its provenance, et cetera. Um, okay, so you did not start out building on Hedera. Um, tell us a little bit about your journey in developing the game. We focus on developing the game first, and then we, we thought of adding Web3 features uh, because the, the most important thing of the game is to make it fun. And, and that's why we had in mind that, uh, first of all, we need to focus on gameplay and then uh, focus on Web3 features to increase the, the fun and, and the gameplay. And, and that's why we, we thought, uh, we thought we look for a, for a, for a blockchain that suits, uh, that suits uh, us up. And we found, we found first Solana, but then we found Hedera with their ecosystem, which, which they help us a lot. Hedera has been great to us. They show us different partners so we can work, work with them. For example, uh, with Hashpack, we were working with them to, to give more features to, to the players to make it easier. So the ecosystem has really sort of contributed to your adoption of Hedera. And, you know, I think we, you know, we talk about this a lot. We talk about the fact that um, in every era of compute and in every new sort of technology model, you don't end up having things that stand alone, right? Um, it is all about the interoperability and the ecosystem and how um, folks can work together. Because at the end of the day, I think you hit on a great point, which is that people just want to have a great gaming experience, right? And yes, you want to bring all that trust and that, um, you know, the provability, but that is, um, you know, that's not why they choose the game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it has to be sort of simple to simple to use, simple to integrate with your existing solutions. Yeah, exactly. Uh, thanks to Hashpack, uh, we we found a solution that it will be uh, like seamless for for the usual gamer uh, to to interact with with our game because uh, I know for a fact that a lot of gamers when they hear hear NFTs. They are like, oh, they're so scared because they don't have the education of, of what an NFT is. So that's why they, they're very afraid. But uh, with the solution that we found with Hashpack, uh, they, won't, they won't know about it. Yeah, so it's seamless sort of behind the scenes. Um, they're just getting the experience um, that they want to have. Um, so tell us a little bit about the development process. How is that going and, and what has it been like? Uh, well, uh, with a lot of surprises, uh, with good and bad surprises, of course, uh, we have like bad surprises, like, oh, there's an, an unexpected bug or, or tools that we need and we don't have, but, uh, that, that's how it goes. I think in every, every startup that happens, but also we have good surprises in, in Cosmic, which for example, it's, uh, the companies, uh, streamers, and some uh, some influencers there that we show the game, uh, they're very interested in our game, and that's a very good surprise for us. For example, uh, we have a partner called Kuni Sport, which which is led by the by Kuna Guerrero, the the legend of Manchester City and Barcelona. Uh, they they partner with us. Very cool. And when you say sort of, you know, bugs, I assume that's just sort of normal course of development of the application and the game. Yeah. And how has the integration been so far in terms of, you know, integrating that sort of backend functionality with Hedera? So far, uh, it's, it's been it's been easy. Like uh, we're doing the, NF, the Hedera NFTs right now, for example, and the developers, uh, 
they, they are our our developers are, are not uh, they are not having a, a lot of trouble actually. Uh, I, I I don't have a lot of knowledge about the technical side, but uh, my de developers told me that right now uh, they're not ha having any issues in implementing those features. Good, we good. Need. Well, that's what we like to hear. No surprises along the way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on the blockchain side, like I, I'm, a, I'm amazed that it's, it's going pretty well, actually. <laughs> good, good. And so what does, you know, as you look out over the next six to 12 months, what should folks be looking for from Cosmium? Uh, well, uh, in six and to, to six to 12 months, for sure, we'll have that closed beta and that open beta, which will need the Hedera community to help us and give us feedback. So we'll have that. We will have different game modes. Uh, we'll have... Uh, uh, for example, uh, an ARAM ranked system, like ARAM is a game mode that's pretty popular in League of Legends. And the community has been asking a ranked game mode. And if the community wants, we'll do that. So we'll listen to the community. We'll also have uh, more collection of NFTs. We'll have lands in the future. We have, we'll have pets. Well, it's... We all have a lot of things. We just need the community to give us feedback and we'll listen to them. Fantastic. And so where should folks go? Where can we send them today if they want to sign up? I don't know. Can they sign up for the closed beta? Uh, not right now. Not right now, but they can come to, to our Discord. We, we will share a sneak peeks there. Actually, we share a sneak peeks of the game right now. And they can talk with us. They can say their opinion of how the game is looking. Uh, we, we love to talk with, with players or future players, so they can talk to us as a as a friend, you know. Fantastic. Well, and I think you know that that ethos really resonates with that community, right? Yeah, and actually, we would love to partner with Lithios and maybe who knows, make make a Lithios skin in our game. Very cool. I think that would be amazing. Um, mm -hmm. After this, yeah. I will connect you with Michael and see what we can do. Yeah. All right. Before we wrap up, anything else you'd like to share either with, um, you know, I know you're not on the developer side, but either with folks who are looking to potentially adopt Hedera or with folks who are looking to check out the game in the future? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the, the only things that I want to say, like, uh, check out our website, guys, but also join our Discord because soon we'll do a collaboration with Hedera and make some NFT giveaways. For, for the early supporters. Very exciting. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope that you will come back and keep us updated on your progress. And um, we look forward to checking it out. All right. Awesome. It has been great, Senalia. Thank you. Thank you.